Hi, I'm Jack. Hey, I'm Ben. And, and this is Bangkok. Sawadeka. Sawadeka. How you doing? You good? Welcome. It is fabulous, beautiful, humid. It is just everything yeah. that it needs to be, honey. I'm a bit sweaty, so you'll have to excuse the wet head. Oh. Anyway, so yes, we are in Bangkok, Thailand at the moment. Uh, we're here for the next few days and it's been like a week so far. Guys, don't worry, there are plenty of vlogs to come. Yes. If you're not following us on social media, go and do all of that. Our Instagram is at Our Swell Life. Our Twitter is at Our Swell Life. Our Facebook is at Our Swell Life. You get the you picture. You get the picture. Yeah, with that being said, we asked you earlier this week for some questions for a Q&A, and we're just going to go straight through the money. Let's do it. In Thai. Just kidding, in English. Let's go. The first question is, me, Asian, my boyfriend, African-American, hey girl, I would like to ask you two guys if you are arguing how to stop it and make your relationship better. We have many problems about gay and interracial relationships. Jack. When we argue, we generally stop talking to each other for a little while and then it boils over and we're just fine, I think. No. So, so it's cute you think that. That's not what happens. That is so definitely usually, what happens. No, it isn't. It takes me to apologise because this one is too stubborn. It is ridiculous. Like when we argue, Jack is so stubborn minded, but like he won't apologise ever. No, because so it I'm takes never me, wrong. Case in point. It takes me to be, I was going to say the man, but that's not very like gender appropriate. It takes me to be the bigger person, the bigger person, and come and apologize. And, yeah, to me and apologize for being a. No, even if it isn't my fault, I still need to apologize because otherwise you wouldn't, and we'd just be in silence forever. Hold on, two seconds. I don't really bicker. I have no need to bicker. Whereas you, like, you're ready for an argument. Like, you are primed. You are on point with your clap backs to any no, kind of argument. I just know what I want, and I know what I like, and I know what I don't like. In terms of the gay and interracial relationship drama, we've got some videos coming about that, so yeah. Cool kid underscore zero us. I'm moving to England in September from Florida. Yes! Ooh, that's actually a bad move. But that's <laughs> that's, real that's bad a move. real bad move. <laughs> You're coming for UK winter. Babe, you should have come nope. for summer. Um, I've never been outside of the US. Really bad move. Any pointers? Okay, pointer number one is before you actually decide to move to a country, <laughs> visit it, I would recommend. You're so brutal. Moving from <laughs> Florida to England. I live literally where we like dream of living. Is a downgrade. But, <laughs> any pointers? Okay, point number one. Don't come. <laughs> no, but I just think if you're gonna move, if you're moving to London, you'll be okay. If yeah. you're moving to Manchester, you'll be all right. If you're moving anywhere, anywhere else, else you're, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I would just save the money and stay. <gasps> shade. No shade. No, we're only joking. I think. I'm actually not at all. <laughs> <laughs> ben might be, feel this is positive. No, the thing is, I come, I come and visit in September before you decide to move. Unless it's for education, it's like a gap year. You can it, manage a year, but if we'll you're moving host permanently, you. we will literally come and host you for like a day or two if you want to come to London and see what it's like. Or come you can to borrow England. all of our coats and umbrellas. Literally, come and stay with us in England for like a day or two, see what it's like, and then move all your stuff because, yeah. Don't make that blind move. Believe. Okay, next one. PV.S. Hey girl, by the way, I did see your message saying that you're in, was it Phuket or Bangkok? And you were like, can we meet up? We literally haven't had time. When you see the vlog, you'll yeah. understand why. But anyway, your question was, what was your most favorite food that you enjoyed eating in Thailand since the food there can be quite spicy? Okay, I'm gonna answer this first because controversially, I absolutely hate spicy food. And everyone who we've been traveling with loves spicy food. So it's been very hard to order group meals in restaurants. I have eaten half of Thailand whilst being here. Yeah, like, the ocean is, has gone. It is. What is food in Thailand anymore? Like, I have slayed it. So, yeah. But the thing is, like, it, I feel like it's worked for me. I needed, like, a bulking week, and it's been good. So, I've eaten everything. All of your food is my favourite food, so. Yeah. DQ, fancy swag. Do, why are you posing in the gumbo? Because I'm trying to make my hair look nice. <laughs> D, fancy swag one asks, what is your favourite thing to do together? I think probably travel. Yeah, definitely travel. Like we travel quite a lot and you can see all of our travel vlogs here. Um, yeah, that's definitely our favorite thing to do actually. Cozy G asks, what is the thing you treasure most about your relationship? I would say the brutal honesty. I like, I like people that 
Uh, why are you screwing up your face? Because I'm interested see? to see Brutal what you're doing. honesty. Do you see what I mean? <laughs> what? How are you going to shut me down before I'm even like justified my response? No, justified. That is what I'm talking about. Justified, I like please. the fact that we can throw ultimate shade at each other and like recover from it. Yeah. Like his clapbacks sting. They honestly hurt me for like a couple of hours and I'm just like, you know what? I'll recover from this. I'll get over. They put me yeah. into like clapback A and E and then I recover and I'm like, okay, girl, like let's get back to it. But I like that because you keep me on my toes. My thing that I cherish the most is that treasure. What it was? Treasure the most. Is actually that our families are just great. What well, they support us. Yeah, they support us, yeah. and your parents and your sister and her fiance are great to us. Yeah. My parents, my sister and her husband are great to us. So that's what I actually treasure the most about our relationship. I think it's quite rare in a gay relationship to have both families like a hundred percent on board. Yeah. Good answer. Thanks. Winston Grey Saga asks, "What is one thing you love most about the other?" And what has been your favorite moment together thus far? Um, I feel like that's very similar to the other question, so I'm going to answer the second bit. What has been your favorite moment together thus far? Go on then, answer it. Okay. Um, what, you, you can't think of one good no, memory? Can, don't, don't play me. <laughs> don't play me. I can literally think of so many. I'm just trying to filter through and get the right one. Go on, give me your top three. My top three would be the moment that we said we loved each other. That's my number one. Yeah. Okay, I'll go with that as well then. Oh, yeah. cute. That's, yeah. Lily all asks, how many siblings do you each have and do they support your relationship? Jack. We both have an older sister. Yeah. And they're both very supportive of our relationship. Yeah, so Jack's sister is, what, how old is she? 20... She's 29 this year. And mine is 33 this year. My ex-master says, besides love, what things make the relationship you have with each other work? Hey, no, no I'm joking. Um, we both hang out with each other's friends. That definitely helps. Which helps. Um, but then we also both hang out with our friends on personal levels as well. Yeah, that really helps. Um, we travel together a lot. Yeah. And I feel like when you travel with someone, you get to know them really well. Mother nature is messing you up. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, it's on your face! Oh, get it off! Get it off! <laughs> anyway. Um, also, um, I think because we moved in together so fast, that as soon as you live with someone, you actually just really know who the real person is. Like how messy yeah. that is and stuff like that, you know? How messy you are as well. How and how you? late he is to everything. How dare you? Next. <laughs> Nicest dude asks, what are some tips you can give on how to go about life after graduating from university? What did you guys do? What kind of changes did you guys make? What risks did you take? I'm going to go first on this one. So okay. one of my favorite life quotes is, dreaming is free, but hustling is sold separately. And I completely believe that oh. because, do you like that? I really yeah, like I don't it. think I fully get it though. Dreaming is free, so you can make all the plans that you want, but hustling is sold separately. So unless you actually hustle to get what you want, they're not gonna happen. I think when it comes to risks, for me, the biggest risk I made was moving from that tiny little village to London with no job, no nothing, Jesus. You've got so many people going for like applications and stuff, there's no guarantee that you're going to be employed. Yeah. That scares the hell out of me, to be honest. And I think when I graduated, I applied to every single graduate scheme that was out there yeah. because I didn't know what was gonna take me. It really comes down to what you want as an individual from what you do after university. Because for me, I knew that there were certain things I had to do. One of them was I wanted to travel, Another one was I wanted to start something that I had like personal control over. Another was that I just wanted to be happy and just yeah. be creative and just live life. Eve's Renny, I'm not going to try it. Menzel asks, who is Big Spoon? Controversially. It changes. It does change. However, I think 85% of the time I'm Big Spoon. And that, You're that's, just bossy. No, no, A, I'm bossy. But B, it's also because when we sleep, I get really, really hot. So I like to be on the outside, so when I'm hot, I can just roll over and be cool again, rather than have to like wriggle out. Well, the other thing is that you sleep a lot. Ah, oh, it's on your lip! Oh. Oh. Girl, girl. <laughs> there was literally a fly on your lip. <coughs> I am never kissing you again. Oh. oh my God, is that the fly? Oh my god. You just ate a fly. What happens in Bangkok? No, I didn't. I just sucked it. <laughs> you, <laughs> you ate a fly. 
go. That is a good way to wrap up this video. We need to go indoors. In fact, we're actually going for like a massage now for about three hours. Yeah. And then three we're and gonna go hours. and eat in town and just live life, honey. If you'd like to see exactly what we're up to, you can add us on Instagram, at our swell life, and keep updated, keep fabulous, and stay fresh. Insta stories are the way forward. Anyway, so that's that. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you're not yet subscribed, click subscribe. Boop. I would like to know what is your favorite country that you've ever been to, and what is your best traveling experience, if you've got any? Very good question. Thanks, Dave. So, let, let us know down below. Peace. Back up, stays in Bangkok.